Good morning, Amore. Buongiorno. We are going to Bologna, but uh, our train has 50, men, 50 minutes delay. So we came to Mercato Central in Florence. We came to Nerbone. This is on the first floor in Mercato Central. And we, we took some Lampardotto and Bolito. Bolito, Amore, is? Uh, it's like a stew. Stew. B beef stew or pork stew? B beef. Beef stew. Beef stew. Okay. We're gonna eat them. And then we go to the train station. They look nice. Yeah, they really nice. And we arrived at the station of Bologna with my meal. Oh, finally. <laughs> finally, we had 80, 80 minutes delay. 87. 80, 87 minutes delay. We're gonna ask for a refund for money. Uh, but we are in Bologna. Yes. We are in Bologna. We, it's uh, almost 12 o'clock. We'll go straight to the city center. And uh, yeah, we're gonna show you. How, how it's a one day in Bologna. Uh, so we are passing from here. So there is shade also the other side of the road. It's calm. Bianca told me there is always music in Bolo Bolo Bologna. Yes. Uh, some of the most important singers yes. and musicians uh, in uh, Italy were from Bologna. You told me also Bologna they call here La Grassa. Yes. The, the fat one. The fat one. Because everything has a, has fat inside, so it's really yeah. uh, fatty food. But it's gonna be delicious for sure. Yes, it's gonna be. And we are almost arrived. We're three minutes away from the main pia piazza. It's really beautiful. Excellent. Here is the founder of Neptune. We're gonna go closer. Here is one of the two towers. And the mirror was telling that one lady what was talking about. Uh, one lady was uh, looking at McDonald's uh, yeah. and she was uh, commenting, telling about the people eating that. I was like, I feel so sad for them that are in Bologna and they are they're eating a cheeseburger. Yes, that's very true because Bologna has uh, amazing food like the rest of Italy. I'm not gonna talk a lot. I'm gonna let you enjoy. This is the fountain of Neptune. No, the, the, central, the central piazza is really beautiful. More, this is what which one? Which this temp is Piazza This is the Basilica di San Petronio. We came from here, on the left. And we're gonna go to the two towers through that alley. It is nice here, a lot of people are eating it. It's pretty busy. Oh, ah, they have cheeses. Prosciutto and parmigiano reggiano inside these soups are nice tortellini. It's tortellini here it's like tapas like like spain and people are sitting down to eat it's very beautiful actually that's a nice place to eat touristy but nice touristy because it's also important to be easy to find things mortadella we're gonna buy afterwards for home fresh fruits vegetables you got it yeah. This is from 1863. Yes. I like the markets generally. I love the markets. And the, that's really nice. Mercato di Mezzo is here. So if you are interested. Also fresh fish, bistecas, pasta, fresca pasta, fresh pasta, mortadella, you can buy a lot of pieces like that. That's a beautiful place. Fresh fish. So 
so we passed through the Mercato, we came from here, it's beautiful. Bologna is excellent. And in front, in front, in front of us we have the two towers. They are amazing. The one is super tall, the other one. And from here we have another building. Now the city is really nice, dark. I like dark cities. The buildings are uh, dark brown, black. Uh, you cannot enter because they are closed for innovation. But it's a really beautiful place to come and see. Now with my baby we want to see something, some other things. Basically you don't have a lot. We're going to finish most of them. And then we'll go for lunch. And just walk around and eat. We are going from the Duomo here on the left side to go to see RC Archi Gymnasio which is like a biblioteca also inside that's a nice area also wow. to walk Libreria Anani What amore? I would like later to go to, around to pass from here? here. Yes, yeah. I It's an easy place to go, easy city to walk and the most shops have that old wood outside Very elegant city. We are behind the Duomo. And that's the area of the Biblioteca, as you can see here, in Archi Gymnasio. And let's go inside. I think the area, this area is, is free. I think this area is free. But to enter some room, I think we need to pay some admission. But if you want to do something fast and without paying, that's an excellent choice. Also, Bianca told me Bologna has the oldest university. It was the first one to open in Italy. I like old, old, old buildings, I love them. It's important to have, to have history from your country. We came up the stairs, the first stairs. And this is the glass entrance. And here is the admission tickets probably. When I started traveling to Italy, I came to Rome, to Florence. Okay, Pisa for a day. But Venice, a lot of people are saying about Venice. But you, do, you don't mention Bologna. But Bologna is... It's a nice city to come for a day, maybe two. And here we stop. That's the theater. We paid six euros and sixty. Santa Maria de Vita. Amore, how much is Italian? Eh? This is how much No, this is this is pure Italy. <laughs> this is the most the more Italian the most Italian you, you can get in a city. It's amazing. Oh we love Bologna, we'll come again for sure. <laughs> one of the, of the two towers, the, the, the tallest one. This is the road to go to the piazza and from here we go to our restaurant, Trattoria del Rossi. Del Rosso, del Rosso, del Rosso. This is Cafe del Rosso, Trattoria also. This is the area. It's very beautiful. <coughs> the prices are really good also. We have, uh, we have a small bottle of wine. You can also buy 375 ml for 16 euros. And we have the 
tortellini in brodo for Bianca with ragu, 14 euros. No, just uh, tortellini in brodo. Yes, uh, I will take the tagliatelle with bolognese uh, butter and prosciutto for 13, and also cotoletta bolognese for 14 euros, and the crescentine that is fried bread with prosciutto di parma, mortadella, and uh, soft cheeses. So it's very cheap. Let's see if the food is good as well. The antipasti game. Uh, we took the wine Momo. You can take the small bottle if you want. This is Cabernet. This is the Crescentine fry bread. Salami. And uh, Amore, what is the name of the cheese? Squacquerone. 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 Okay. Squacquerone. Squacquerone. <laughs> okay. okay, thank you. The wine is good. It's very good. We're going to try the food. So, the antipasti, the antipasti was really good, Bianca loved them. What was the cheese again? Squacquerone. Squacquerone, that was Squacquerone. like? Squacquerone. 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 It's fine. <laughs> Amore, it was similar to Sacciatella? Yes. Or Stracchino? Stracchino. It was creamy, very nice yes. to, to clean your palate. Yes. The antipasti was delicious, you should yes. take the, the antipasti. The, the one, salumi, the, the salumi. Col, col yeah, also the mortadella and the prosciutto were really nice because in Toscany they are salty. Here are very calm. Uh, Bianca has tortellini in brodo yes. with parmesan cheese. See, not really summery. Not summery, but she wants. But want... I wanted them, I was dreaming about them. So, so it's, it's her, her gift for our, our one year anniversary. Yes. And I have the, the papardelle ragu, ragu bolognese. We're gonna eat and we're gonna tell you afterwards because we have also one cotoletta bolognese. As you can see from my plate, it disappeared. Bianca is eating the, the, the brodo. The, the zoo. Um, the food was excellent, really good. The Bolognese wanted, in the, when I tried it, it wanted a little salt, but because they bring us Parmesan cheese, it gives you the saltiness. So they bring, they bring you here, also some, some bread here, and we are waiting for the Cotoletta alla Bolognese with my baby. To be honest, we are pretty full, but there's always some space for meat. And this is the, the cotoletta bolognese. This is like besamel amore. Ah, yes, the with formaggio. With cheese, bos besamela, and prosciutto on top. We're gonna eat and we're gonna tell you, but probably it's gonna be nice. So the total bill was 78 and 50. Everything was good priced, and the food was excellent. That's it. How is the meal? Full. Full. Like a pig. Like a pig. No, for 78 euros and 50 cents, food was perfect. We ordered a lot. We could just order pasta if we wanted. And or antipasti and uh, one second and we would be still fine. And now we'll go for cafe for my baby. We go for a walk because we are full like pigs. Okay. Perfect. Ah, we need to see this also. Yeah. We need to go from the other side for the canal. I'm gonna go from the other side and then we go for a walk and have some coffee. And here we are in the Grand Canal of Bologna. You see that one? And then you look the one in the back. Here. So it's not that such a big thing, but people like it. So it's fine. My baby is taking pictures also. We are in Pasticceria Imperio. I will go after what's inside to show you. Bomboloni with pistachio, estate and coffee for the meal. Now it's hot and we are tired. This is nice, super sweet, super sweet and nice. The bomboloni, the cornetta are good, small pastries, big pastries. Grazie, grazie. We are in Paolo Atti. We bought one small of torta di riso. And we also bought half mortadella. It's a nice shop. We paid uh, for 680 grams of mortadella, 10 euros and 80. And one small torta di riso. 3 euros and 40. Total 14 and 21 for mortadella for my baby. She wants mortadella and one uh, su sweet cake of riso for me. 
We are, in, we are in Gelateria Gianni. This is his main awards. He has six, 12, 18, 24, 32, 32 flavors. Grazie per lo ciao, arrivederci. He's the oldest one, he has a lot of awards. 1976. New. I took pistacchio. I think pistacchio is amazing. Yeah, yeah. cremino pistacchio, caramello salato. Uh, no, uh, dulce de leche. Sí. Dulce de leche caramel. And this is with uh, orange and the cream and zabaglione. So we're gonna try. This is the original shop that we ate. It's excellent. Amore, how was the cremino pistacchio? Pistacchio. Uh, cremino, cremino pistacchio. Cremino di pistacchio was amazing. Actually, it, it was like a cream, it was not like uh, gelato. Like it gelato, was, uh, yeah. It a was cream. a very sticky cream. Buonissimo. It, yeah. the, um, the texture was like Nutella almost. Last stop takeaway, we are in Mo Mortadella, a very famous place about sandwich with mortadella. I took one, Bianca took the one that is only mortadella, three and a half euros, and I took mortadella, stacciatella with cream cheese, uh, dry tomatoes, sun dried tomatoes, and uh, fresh basil for six euros. So nine euros and 50 cents. The place is nice. The guys are very uh, uh, gentle. And it's raining like hell, so we take the sandwich and we go to the train station. Amore. The rain stopped? Yes. And uh, how was Bologna, Gabmu? It was really beautiful. I think it's my meal enjoyed. Very much. The food. We ate like pigs. Yes, the food was good. Yes. The wine was good. Yes. Excellent. Uh, anything that you want to say? Come to Bologna. That's the, the final advice from Bianca. Yes. For me, like because Bianca has been here two, two more times, for me it, it was the first time. I really enjoyed it. It's a nice day trip to do. Bologna is something different. For sure, we will, we will come a second time. And uh, the next stop is, is Verona, Romeo and Juliet. So we go there and see what is uh, the city like. And um, that's pretty our trip to Bologna. We're going to organize more trips to, to Italy because it's, it's very, we are very fortunate that we can see all those places. Yes. And uh, also the trains are really cheap. So, so we are, we are really happy that you enjoyed the video. See you soon. Ciao.